In this video, we're going to take a look at battery energy storage systems. I know it's a bit of a mouthful, so we're going to use the acronym BESS. We'll look at what energy storage systems are, we'll look at the different types of energy storage systems, and then we'll take a look at a BESS installation. I'll show you where it fits within the electrical grid. I'll also tell you about some of the different variations and designs that you're likely to see. We'll discuss all of the main components that form part of a BESS installation. And by the end of this video, you should understand why this type of installation is becoming more and more common, the effect it has upon the electrical grid, the different uses it has within the electrical grid, and why you're much more likely to see more of these battery energy storage systems going into the future. Let's start with the basics. What is an energy storage system, or ESS? Well, there are actually different types of energy storage systems available to us. They can be mechanical, thermal, chemical, electrochemical, or electrical. Over 90% of all energy that's stored in energy storage systems is stored by pump hydroelectric power plants. These power plants raise water to a higher elevation and store it in an upper reservoir in order that we can use that stored energy, that body of water, at a time when it is needed. When electricity is cheap, we can use that electricity to pump water to a higher elevation, and when electricity is expensive or when it is needed, we allow the water to flow back down again, across the turbine, and we generate electricity. That is a type of mechanical energy storage system. Traditionally, this was the main way to store energy, and was, up until about 2010, when other technologies began to develop, which began to make them more economically viable. As an example, compressed energy storage systems, where we pump compressed air into the ground when we have a lot of electricity, and then allow the air to flow back out again when we want to generate electricity. This is another way to store energy. Again, it's a mechanical ESS form. Irrespective of what energy storage system we're looking at, it's the lithium ion storage system that has seen the fastest growth over the past 10 years. There's a very good reason for this. Laptop batteries, camera batteries, mobile phone batteries, all these devices use lithium ion batteries. For their size, they have a very high energy density. This makes them ideal batteries for small electrical devices because we need stored energy in order to operate our laptops and mobile phones and we need that energy to be compact so we can carry it around with us and we're going to extract that energy over time whilst we're using our electronic devices. This video is going to focus on lithium ion batteries and their usage within energy storage systems because they are by far the most rapidly growing energy storage system in the utility industry. But why do we even need energy storage systems in the first place? Over the last 150 years, we've been busy as a civilization focusing primarily on electrical power generation, transmission, and distribution. Until quite recently, there was never a huge desire to store energy. If we needed to generate more electricity, we turned to coal, oil, and gas, we burnt these fossil fuels, and we used the chemical energy from these fuels to generate electricity. The problem that we're having nowadays is that non-renewable energy sources are no longer desired. There are many reasons for this. Some are environmental and some are economical. But the overriding focus and trend for power generation is now on renewable energy sources. Hydroelectric power plants, wind turbines, solar power plants, these are all renewable energy sources. If you want to use any of the 3D models shown in this video, then head on over to savory.com. We've got over 400 engineering 3D models that you can use directly through a web browser in AR or VR. If you want to learn more about engineering, we've got over 45 hours of engineering video tutorials and courses at savory.com. And you can learn about valves, pumps, power stations, electrical transformers, and many other common engineering machines and processes. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your time.